Welcome to Servant Fan Theories Part 4. It's been a week, Jules. We have uh, some time set in from the, the season finale of Servant, Season 3, and uh, it's, it's still it's still in my mind. Let's put it that way. How about you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, people said it was going to be shocking, and it sure was shocking. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for all the comments uh likes listens everything you guys have done it, it's been fantastic uh we are doing the draw today for the 50 dollars movie gift card i have a bunch of a bunch of names right here in my hat when i was writing them down it was just like wow this is so cool like these people were commenting the whole season so whoever wins in that list you're a deserved winner we'll do something like this again soon just to let you guys know about our schedule so this innovators youtube channel there's a bunch of different creators on there but as far as jules and i our next uh, what just happened is going to be Slow Horses on Apple TV, Servants Apple TV. You figure you might as well stick with it, right? So if you guys don't know anything about that, it dropped what? You said two episodes they dropped already? Yeah, they did two episodes and then they're dropping the third one this coming Friday. Okay, so we're going to do a recap video this weekend and then we'll do What Just Happens starting on episode three. So make sure to comment below which shows you'd like to see us cover and we'll do our best to, to do all of them. We are going to do our draw. But before that, we're going to do a couple comments from the season finale. So I'll kick that off with TNLW. I think the house is decaying because of Jericho is not decaying in his grave as he should be. As Jericho 2 continues to live artificially, the house continues to decay. I was not thrilled with the season finale as it seems to mimic Stephen King's misery too much. Dorothy is smart enough to have drugged the family with the wine and made her exit. It seems like Dorothy will be paralyzed for most of season four and be Leanne's prisoner. Maybe Uncle George will save Darth. The big question is when will Dorothy awaken and remember what happened to Jericho? I would have much more preferred Dorothy to visit her mother's grave only to find Jericho's headstone next to her. Julian and Sean deserted Dorothy when she needed them most and contributed indirectly to Jericho's death. The reckoning that is coming will be for all three of them. I, I like that theory on the house. Because I've asked you guys yeah, to, too. yeah, I've I've asked you guys to help me out. What causes the house to break and get destroyed, and for bees to go all over the place, and it, it just racks my brain. So I like that. That that's a really solid theory there. I I did like the finale a lot. I'm sad to hear that you didn't like it, but you know, I, I guess it's not for everyone. And it was a definitely a cliffhanger because we're not sure what happened really. Like, we know that Dorothy fell, but we don't know the, like, is she dead? Probably not. I, I'm more leaning that she's not dead after a week of letting it sit. What about you? Again, I just can't see them doing season four without having Dorothy in some capacity. And, like, we've all just been waiting for her to, like, wake up and realize that, you know, this is probably not her Jericho. And I would really like to see that moment. So I'm kind of yeah. hoping she's not. Yeah, you can't you can't not pay that off right like it feels like that's just way too big of a a plot point that they would just not answer so i'm definitely leaning towards that right now so we'll see uh, next up is charlene i had a whole theory last season that dorothy actually knew about jericho's death and because she made that news about the lesser saints she actually learned that they're capable of reviving people we've seen on season two that dorothy is very resourceful so in my opinion, it makes sense that she brought Leanne from the Lesser Saints on purpose, but she doesn't like how she's not always agreeable with her. After all, everything was fine until Leanne decided to go against her and hang out with her new friends. Yeah, I agree with this 100%. Yeah, the relationship definitely started to get troublesome once she opened up to the Leannisters, right? Um, because if you guys remember, when the season first started, Leanne was terrified of everything. And Dorothy was the one that was like, hey, let's get her outside. Let's get her moving. And she was like totally for helping Leanne get back to normal, whatever normal can be in the servant world. But yeah, the relationship definitely started to get strained. And now it's at a point where Leanne is holding all the keys. Like she's like in control now. Definitely caused Dorothy's accident. Would you agree with that? That she caused it? Yeah. I feel like it's hard to believe she wouldn't. I mean, it's, you know, Leanne was just kind of at her breaking point. She didn't know what else to do. If, Leanne, if Dorothy was going to try to leave with Jericho, I mean, what are the choices she have at that point, you know? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, 
I'm I'm there with you on that. Good theories there. I can't wait to see the first trailer for season four to see the vibe they're going for and like a way that they're going to try to wrap up this this show. And I really hope like four seasons is a really good number to have a show that has a great start point, a good middle point, a high and then a nice finale, right? That's like perfect length. I, per- yeah, I personally yeah. think anything over five seasons, then it starts to get a little bit filler and what are right, what's going on now? You know, there's certain yeah. shows that have Usually exceptions. Usually they get like repetitive. Right, exactly. There's certain shows that have exceptions, but I mean, five is like a good number. So they're, they're finish- finishing at four. So I really can't wait to see anything, any news. And when we go film our location video, and that'll be up, within the next month sometime we don't know exactly when but when we go film that hopefully we can spot some people and get some questions and figure something out for you guys because it's it's really left out in the open for now so we'll have to wait and see okay so this one is from justine justice league and justine says leanne is no longer working in the turner's best interests especially dorothy Uh, if she wanted them to have a second chance at having jericho she would allow that just that to happen her love for dorothy would be unconditional and she would wouldn't punish them by removing jericho Leanne has her own motives, wants and desires, and she doesn't care if she hurts Dorothy or not, whether it be invading a home, having sex with Julian, or playing surrogate mom to Jericho. And I tend to agree with this one as well. It kind of mirrors what Charlene was saying, too, with Dorothy and Leanne's relationship, too. That's That's what I was going to say, too, yeah. 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 And we've definitely seen this Leanne grow into this, like, almost vindictive person when it comes to Dorothy. So, I mean, what Justine's saying makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so this one is from Shazia Nerdin, a return commenter. And Shazia says, I think the behind the scenes series three, Shyamalan says that the house and Leanne are tied. When Leanne gets upset or angry, it manifests whatever she's feeling. So definitely made the banister break and Dorothy fall. She had a response here from Nicole Overbeck, who says, oh, that makes me think a lot. If the house and Leanne are tied together, then the decay and rot in the house could be Leanne's love of Dorothy starting to deteriorate. I looked at the biblical name for Jericho, and it's interesting that the Jericho story is of the Israelites trying to take down the walls of Jericho to take over the city. They circle the city for like seven days with no sound. On the seventh day, they release a large cry and the walls tumble down. Originally, I was thinking that the walls of Jericho is Dorothy forgetting the past event. And also I thought perhaps when the series is over, Dorothy will learn the truth and the house will collapse. In this theory, everything is learned is happening through the mind of Dorothy, who is still in a catatonic state. Now I'm not so sure. Part of me wonders if Leanne isn't Dorothy's real daughter, who was abandoned as, as a baby because Dorothy would have been very young at the time or career driven or whatever. Now, I'm pretty sure both Dorothy and Leanne had abusive mothers. And Chazier responds and says, yes, because Leanne talks about her mother drinking a lot, and so do Dorothy and Julian. Interesting about the city of Jericho must be a metaphor and is too similar to ignore. Um, There are a lot of numerical references, too, in in this series with the balloons and the story of Jericho, which I didn't know about. Thank you for the insight. Um, So a lot of stuff in there that I did not know. (laughs) Yeah, that's why I love our comment section so much, especially with the Servant series. Like, people learn things from each other. You guys inform us. And uh, now I just have this image right of it's the whole the whole block right they're essentially the row homes they're connected together and imagine when this when it's all said and done their house looks like it's like middle of the street somewhat that it's just like gone and then every other house is still there that would be wild (laughs) oh crazy (laughs) yeah (laughs) i just have that that would be pretty wild I just have that image in my head now. Great theories there as well. I mean, we have we have some time before the next season starts, obviously, but we're going to do our filming locations video. So we have at least one more servant video coming out as well as potential collaboration that you guys might know about. So you can comment on this video and we, we definitely have some more servant content coming out soon. But like I said, Slow Horses will be starting this Friday coming up on uh, Watches Happen style. But servant, you've been good to us. Let's be good to somebody and give you guys a free uh, date night, whatever you want to do, $50 movie gift card to the theater of your choice. So whoever wins, the best way to contact us is Twitter, for sure. We're Cenovators on Twitter, and my DMs are open. So if you just go follow us, DM me, I'll get you your prize, or email Cenovators at gmail.com, and we will get you your movie tickets. All right. Oh, I'm nervous. Nervous. Can't wait to see who it is. <laughs> All right, here it is. Who is it? 
boom. Preston S. Papel, you are the winner, Good Preston. Stuff. Congrats, Good job. Preston. Congrats, Preston. So hopefully you watch this video. Um, if not, we will give it to somebody else next up, next in line type of thing. I'll keep all these names here. But Preston, congrats. Come claim your prize. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys for Slow Horses. Hopefully you guys like that show. If not, get your shows in. What do you want us to cover? We will cover it. Uh, as always, thanks for listening. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.